in any Nigerian situation or any Nigerian community, what 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 are some of those um, root causes of insecurity? There are many factors, but chief among these factors is the problem of lack of consequence management within security agencies, within the government and public sector, and then a very faulty and, uh, in a manner of speaking, aberrant criminal justice system mm. in which you will find that many people who should be prosecuted for crimes and criminality are not being prosecuted. In some cases, people are put in, pre- in the prison yard, as we now call them correctional centers. And before you know it, they are out of these places without any explanation. Mm. Not because there was a court order for a release, no, but because there are things that have happened that are basically nocturnal. Nobody can even speak about them. So you have a variety of such occurrences. The reward system is another factor. You know, crime appears to be paying. Uh, people have seen criminals being celebrated. Remember when we had the hush puppies of this world, mm. right? Mm. The other uh, guy, is it okay to something, who was in the Forbes cover. Yeah, 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 yeah I remember that guy. People. Yeah. Uh, uh, in Victor's OB, that's how he was described, right? Mm. So you had such people, and nobody knew that they were deep into crime until they were busted, and they were being celebrated as models, paragons, role models for the young to copy. But you now find, because we have now materialized success, as I like to say, we now think that success in society is to be defined strictly on material terms. Mm. That it makes it an incentive to crime for many people. Particularly when you find that it appears to pay, and then the perpetrators are not brought to book. So, so you have an interwoven arrangement. You have different factors commingling to perpetrate criminality. But the worst of it all is lack of political will. All because right. I believe that everything arises are for leadership. If you have the political will, the appropriate um, accountability would be beamed on the security agencies. They are the chief security officer of the state, who is the governor. And through that measure, you will find that the police commissioner reporting also to his police hierarchy and being careful not to arouse the wrath of the governor who want to step up his responsibility and then he will make sure that everybody within his area of responsibility steps up in terms of his officers and men. Why can we not trace the financiers? Why can we not trace the sponsors? Now, you see, the government has now arrested a traditional ruler, but could this have been done just before the act? Could we have seen this? Could we have had that intelligence? Could we have been proactive? So for me, what we have going on is because we have drifted. If we go back to professional policing, intelligent sharing is very... Intelligent gathering is one. So for you to even know what you are intelligent, what is critical, what, what information can be converted to intelligence that will enable you to prevent criminality. Mm. It's not something that you can pick on the street. They need to be trained on it. But I, I can tell you that I think the agencies, the police, and many of the agencies have, have weird off what they should do because you have all kinds of policemen on physical security deployment. The emphasis now, as I would like to say, is AK-47 security. Would you think that the more um, security agents with AK-47 and general purpose machine guns with their armor personnel carriers you know, in our street, the most secure we are. But contrarily, that is even a, a, an indication of insecurity. Because you are supposed to have neutralized the positions, remove those positions that will lead you to flooding your street, you know, yeah. with all kinds of security equipment and manpower. Mm. And how do you solve this problem? You pride guarding of intelligence very high. The last administration did invest um, uh, intensively into um, the police in Beaver State. He built police stations, he bought them vehicles, he bought them gunboats, he bought them, you know, all of these things. Uh, sh- should we use security votes for security issues only? I mean, what's your take on security votes? So, so for me, Canada, I actually think that um, the concept of security votes is an aberration. But, of course, um, rather than... Uh, Cause the darkness, we're not like a candy. So, for me, because it won't exist, right? So, let's put it to the proper use. Like we started at the beginning of the conversation, deploy the security votes to solve security problems and then hold them to account. Good enough, you have the Security Council and the 
toughest chiefs in the state. You know, the, the, the brigade commanders, you know, the air officer commanding at the state level, the naval commanders, the police, the GSS, they are all involved, even the NSDC and the immigration rights, they are all involved in it. Mm. By the time we are able to support them, we are able to procure equipment. I'm aware that the project of Mayor Sowiki left. There was an intelligence response center that he built. Yes, some some, of the yeah, something One like of the last project he commissioned. Yeah, I think, right? clo- close, to, I think close to his house, something like that. Exactly. So, to what extent are we utilizing this? The governor of the state has the right to ask the CP to have XYZ in X locations. We provided X power of vehicles last time. We provided monetary support, and it's happening. What is going on? Mm. Mm. So, you, you, you must be ready to, in the manner of speaking, put the spotlight and the spotlight on the CP and his men. And then the city will further break down its officers and men. Now look, the, the governor is not allowing me to rest. The IG is not allowing me to rest. And if you make the end under my watch, I will ensure that you face the consequences of your inaction or your complicity in criminality. So these, these things are all intertwined. The all governors right. must step up. I believe that Governor Singh Tubara, I think he's celebrating his 100 days in office now. Yeah. He, he would have to really show beyond rhetoric that he will not tolerate insecurity in the state. And if he thinks that the, the, the service commander that he has, he, he has in River State, are not giving him what he requires, he should feel free to scream to Abuja so that he gets the required support that he needs. Mm. Because this cannot continue. The governor by himself will not carry guns to secure River State, but he has responsibility to secure people in River State.